it's amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite recipes and ideas anyway chocolate cake chocolate cake on the menu you guys will love this one a lot of people like chocolate cake and a lot of people love chocolate oh my god anyway leave your comments um subscribe please tell a friend and a friend to a friend my name is chef ricardo stay tuned don't go anywhere and watch this video today it is a uh, fantastic make yourself a cup of coffee all right so when the cake bake you can either have it warm or cold so you're gonna have a nice lovely cup of coffee with chocolate cake stay tuned nice and lovely guys so basically the first thing what you need to do is to preheat your oven 175 gas are electric 175 on electric and secondly if you're using gas use gas mark six or five you make love the oven that's the best place to put your cake step by step recipe get a pen and your piece of paper and write down some ingredients and this is a healthy chocolate cake all right so first thing you need one of this bowl right here like what i have right here guys Secondly, you can use a wooden spoon or a whisk. So make sure you write down these ingredients. All right, lovely and oh, nice. Um, so what we're going to do now is get the butter. All right, so this is one cup of butter, which is 100 gram. So one cup of butter, we're gonna pour it straight inside of the bowl like this. is beautiful and it's gonna be a simple recipe guys where you guys definitely can make at home all right so don't get panic and wondering what's gonna happen all right so basically as I said we have 100 gram of butter and I'm using unsalted butter and it is light um, please go to your local shop or your supermarket and look for light butter this cake is for person who losing weight and all these things so look for anything i'm using i'm going to be telling you light butter all right margarine light less sugar less salt all right less fat all right so we have the butter which is as i said before one cup of butter all right Um, so we've got some sweetener, which is we're going to be using. Um, basically, the sweetener is going to be eight tablespoon of sweetener. So one, two, one and a half, four and a half, and that again, and that again. So eight tablespoon of sweetener. Alright, so let's cream up your, your butter and your sugar and the sweetener. When I said sweetener, you can get sweetener in a, any local shop or supermarket to buy. It is just different from the granulated sugar or brown sugar. Alright. lovely and nice so basically we have the butter and the sugar inside of the bowl all right so as I say I know what we're going to do is nice so sugar and butter all right right over here I have Two cups of self rising flour. Um, also, two cups of self rising flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. So, 
So we have the self rising flour. This is two cup and two teaspoon of baking powder. One, two. Simple. Give it a little whisk like this. All right, with your whisk. Two cups of self rising flour and two teaspoon of baking powder. All right. Now, secondly, we have some cocoa powder, which is four tablespoons. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four. Four tablespoons of cocoa powder. Let's give it a lovely whisk like this. Lovely. Once you do that, right over here, this is the sugar and the butter which we just make up. Now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs which I'm going to put in the bowl. Seven medium sized egg. Just going to be using my whisk and give it a whisk. Alright, once you do that, then we're going to take our time and hard the flour. We should just mix up with the this is the flour and the cocoa powder. Alright. the rest of flour Let's use our wooden spoon because I love to use a wooden spoon. All right, guys, now we have this thing named. Chocolate shot, choc chocolate shot, sweet free. It's like hot chocolate. We're using hot hot chocolate. All right. So basically, it's chocolate shot, chocolate shot. All right. I may have to put the ingredients in the description box for you guys. All right. So basically, I'm going to be using. Let me see. We're going to be using. Let me see. Four and four eight teaspoon of the chocolate shot. All right, four teaspoon. So one. Let's cut it at two. Cause I didn't measure it out before. So I measured it out before. Four teaspoon, four and four. So it's gonna be eight teaspoon of the chocolate shot. And it is light free. One, 
So what we're going to do is just simple test it. Nice and lovely. Okay, I just cut out a piece of a grease proof paper inside of the tray to put inside. Alright. So right here you need some light spray. And you're going to simply spray the inside of the tin. And now I'm just gonna simply put this piece of a grease proof paper inside all right so basically you just need to cut out a piece of paper you know what i mean it's easy just put the, the tin of tin sheet over it um the baking tray over the paper and just cut it out just to put it in the bottom of the, the tin all right now we just mix up our mixture for the cake so we're just gonna simple pour it out inside of it just like this all right. All right, now we have some chocolate chip right here, which I'm going to use on top of it. All right, guys. Um, basically, you know what I mean? You just put some chocolate chip on top of it for decoration. And just use a teaspoon and simple. Just give it a lovely mix up. That means some of the chocolate got inside of the cake. All right. Very easy and simple. So nothing too complicated. You don't have to stress yourself. All right. So we're going to put the cake in the oven now for 17 minutes. You don't want to overcook it. So when you overcook the cake, it just not going to taste right. All right. So we're going to just cook this for 17 minutes right now, guys. All right. So, so 17 minutes in the oven. All right, guys. So basically, as I said, preheat your oven first. If it's electric, 165 or 175 the least. If it is gas put it on gas mark five or six in the middle of the oven and cook it for 17 minutes stay tuned the chef nice no, 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 so basically as i can see this is it right right here but before i can do anything with it it have to cool long first all right um basically i would say yeah make it cool down and once it's cool down you remove it and serve it with a nice lovely hot cup of hot chocolate or you know what i mean some coffee or a nice lovely cup of tea this is the chocolate brownie cake right here so please enjoy it subscribe leave your comments split well it's fine you know what i mean homemade baked cake is the best when it's split like this stay tuned and i will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe like this hopefully you guys like the recipe and tell a friend and a friend tell a friend all right see you next time in the kitchen bye bye Not only that, once you put down your knife in it like this, it says cook, all right? Yeah. Shouldn't make it jar a little bit too much, but it's fine. Nice. All right? Stay tuned. Lovely one, guys. Easy and simple to make at home. We had a family. See you next time in the kitchen with more recipes.